Hey guys, we're back. Uh, magically, the car is painted. You remember the test panel we shot? We picked out our colors, picked out our shading. Now we've got them on the car. We would have shown you the whole thing, but you know, a master's got to keep some of his secrets. So uh, here it is. We, we've got all our flames, we've got all our shadows. As you can see, it turned out really, really nice. You know, we, we use a really high quality clear, it lays out good but there's still just a little bit of texture to it, a little bit of bumps from the graphics. So what we do is we take different sandpapers and what we do what they call color sanding. I start out with thousand grit and I start by cutting out all this orange peel and I cut off all these flame bumps and I work my way up through different grits. I go from thousand grit to 1500 all the way up to 2000 grit. And by the time you're done sanding, now it looks like you're never going to have another paint job again. It looks like you just tore it up. But believe it or not, this right here will polish up and look just like this. It'll be perfectly smooth, perfectly shiny, just beautiful. And it really makes a big difference in going from nice paint job to show paint job. I mean, you, you can take and you can sand them down the 400 after you get everything on. You can flow coat them. Some people choose that method. Other people like to color sand in between everything. It, it, it's all in the painter's discretion. But a good painter will give you this finish like you see on all these show cars to where they're just super smooth, super shiny. So, like I said, what I'm doing is sanding all the main areas. I'm not gonna be sanding in the door jams. I'm not gonna be sanding these because they're smooth enough. They're really shiny, really good. What you mainly see you know, we get upholstery in here, we get a seat in here, we get gauges. A whole lot of stuff goes on this car still. But we're taking it down and we're making it nice. So Marty, I hope you're seeing this, buddy. It, it's going to glow in the sunlight. We'll pull it out here in a little while and get a picture of that. Hey guys, last time we was here we sanded the car down, we took out the uh, texture, took out any dirt and imperfections, got it to 3000 grit, now we're going to buff it. And uh, the way I like to do it is I start out with a twisted wool pad and I run my scratches out with this, but this will leave its own set of scratches. And the way we do that is it's all about scratch refinement. We go from coarse to light and eventually get them to where you can't see them through the naked eye, but if you used to put a magnifying glass on here, you would still see the scratches. So we go from a twisted wool to an open wool pad, and then we go down to a foam pad, a cutting foam. And we go down even farther. We'll go down to the finish pad, which is really, really soft, really pliable. It doesn't hardly scratch at all. Now we go through compounds too. We start out with a really aggressive extra cut compound. You can feel the grit in it. I mean, it, it's, it's really good stuff. And we use that with our two wool pads and with our foam cutting pad. Then we switch to a pad glaze. It's a little bit smoother. It's, it's really, really slick. We use that with our soft pad. And then to get these scratches out, we switch over to a swirl remover. This will take out when you buff. If you've ever seen a car get buffed, you'll pull it out in the sunlight sometimes if they don't do a good job and you'll see all these circles in it. And what that is, that swirl marks. That's just from your pad cutting into the paint. You use this right here with the soft pad to get rid of those. And that will take it down to where you don't see any. And then uh, for the final step, you wash it in between. Each step, you've got to clean it because if you don't, you'll have that rough compound in with your fine stuff and you should not do that. You've got to clean it every time. And then the final wash, we'll go over it with a quick wax which just polishes it up, it cleans it really good. Just really, really nice to deliver it to the customer with this. Really nice. Uh, I guess we're gonna do a little bit of a demonstration here. I personally like to use an electric buffer just because I hate the noise of the old air style. There, there's some people that swear by them, but uh, I've worked in body shops a long time, and trust me, your, your buddy that works next to you will appreciate the electric a lot more than the air. But anyway, here we go. We're going to start buffing on the door. I'm going to try and make some flames pop out. I've got my wool pad on. I've got my speed set, just about 1,200 RPMs. Got my extra cut compound. Got my extra cut compound. 
I like to, I use an old water bottle and I drill a hole in the top. This makes it easier for me. You squirt a little bit on there. Work it in with your pad. That way you don't sling it all over the guy standing next to you and make him mad, you know? <laughs> then you run it in. You're not supposed to set your buffing pad flat on it like this. That will create a lot, a lot of swirls. You always tilt it just a little bit and get it riding up on this, just about this much of it. You don't want to go right up on the edge. If you turn it like this, you're going to burn that paint because paint is nothing but a plastic coating. I mean, it's a chemical plastic coating. And if you get it too hot, it will melt. It will, it'll tear, it'll ball up, it'll just, It'll ruin your whole paint job. This, this, these few steps can make or break your paint job. You always keep it wet. Don't let it get too dry or you'll really cut it up also. Work it in. Keep the buffing pad moving. Do not stop in one place. You don't want to melt this paint right now. You worked hard to get it to look like this. You want it to be super shiny. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna switch through these and just buff the middle. What in actuality, I'm gonna come back later and I'm gonna tape these off. I'm gonna run tape around my edges so I don't burn my paint. And I'm gonna buff everything side to side. But for right now, just for buffing tape, I'm showing you step by step.